Live from the studios at 5 Eyewitness News, Twin Cities Live is having its best winter yet. Give some pictures. <laughs> oh, I'm chatting. Hey, sorry, you guys. I'm so excited chat. It's, it's going to be guests. that type of day. <laughs> this is Happy Friday. Friday, you guys. We got a lot of great things lined up for you guys. I know. It's a fantastic Friday show. It totally is. And you know that we already are talking and excited and all these fun things. We also want to talk to you. So hop on our Facebook page right now. We are about to answer the questions that you are posting. But our guest who I was talking to uh -huh. behind the scenes as we came out. Uh, she is an amazing golfer, and the Minnesota Golf Show is underway at the Minneapolis Convention Center. So on stage there, you're going to find the amazing woman we were chatting with. She's a University of Minnesota women's golf team star. She has her own podcast. Her name is Emma Carpenter, and she is joining us with tips on improving our game or lack of game, but I was telling her about my nine-year-old uh, who loves golf yeah. and is so into it. And um, we were talking about, particularly with women, how cool it is to have a you know a female golfer to look up to and to go, oh my gosh, like look at how far you can go with oh, this amazing game. Yeah, the sport is exploding and has mm -hmm. been exploding for a long time. And to have her in studio and to talk about uh, women and girls on the golf course, especially at such a young age, no, it's such a, a fun sport that I never picked up early because uh, I didn't have the patience. For I it. listen. I I didn't have the access to it so it's fun for our kids to get to do it I was telling Emma I was like I'm gonna be a mom and show you I'm gonna show you pictures of her on the golf course of my nine-year-old <laughs> I know. That, that and tennis, I never picked up early enough. Yeah, those are really great sports because yeah. they're lifetime. They're lifetime if you can sports. Get, but there's a lot of great community tennis programs, too, that are very, yeah, very nice. Yeah, very true. So I'll, I'll get tips from Emma, too, on how maybe a 45-year-old guy can pick up uh, the game again and not get too frustrated. She's going to give us some putting pointers, which is very important. Yeah. You're great we all just want to drive the ball real far, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care about putting. <laughs> At 4 p.m., <laughs> reporter Kristen Hobrick is going to knock on someone's door and surprise them with a trip for two to sunny Orlando, Florida. It is a trip that we have to give away thanks to our friends at Visit Florida and Visit Orlando. That's right. And Kristen is live somewhere. I love this because when we do these little giveaways, <gasps> she has lots of little clues along the way during the show. So Kristen, where are you with your first clue? <laughs> Oh, you guys, I can't come right out of the gate and say, you know how this works, we got to build on into it. But what a day to find out that you are leaving Minnesota to go to the Sunshine State because it's a little chilly today, a little brisk. And I can tell you this, our winner, he or she does not live in Minneapolis. They do not live in St. Paul. They live way outside the metro. Yeah. We're talking across state lines. So we're on the Minnesota side right now. And then you look behind me, we're headed over the bridge, over the St. Croix River, over to Scotty Land. Well, Elizabeth, Wisconsin, yeah. <laughs> I can also tell you this. Our winner is in a town made up of two words, okay? Oh. I might have already said too much. I have an two idea. Words. Oh, yeah. I have a real, That's do you town. want me to guess, Kristen, this person or no? is in. Should I keep it to myself? Sure. Yeah, let's hear it. River Falls. Give me a guess. River Falls. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Don't River say. Falls. Don't say. Don't say anything. Even if she's right, don't say anything. All right. Ben, do you have a guess? I don't have a guess. I don't want to put you. I want you to like build this whole thing up. This is okay. good. Okay. Send our regards oh, to right. Badger Country. <laughs> oh, Seth says Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Okay, guys. So we are <laughs> headed eastbound <laughs> and down. <laughs> okay. We're headed eastbound and down, guys, and, and we got a long way to go and a short time to get there, baby. We gotta go jump in the car. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Good talk, Kristen. She doesn't need a passport, you know, you just go right across the border. No, I don't think she you. needs any coffee or caffeine. No, I, <laughs> I told you, it's, it's that kind of show. It's a Friday. Yeah. We got a real Friday vibe going it's on around It's a slap here. happy show, yeah. you guys. <laughs> all right, so before we get to Kristen's surprise, we want to hear from you guys. It is time for Free For All Friday. Roll up, there we go. Ask us your questions right now on the Twin Cities Live Facebook page. Our other KH, Kelly Hi. Hansen, scrolling through those comments right now, looking very good in red today. Hi, Thanks. Kel. Hi, guys. There's a lot of comments so far, which is very fun. It feels mm. like a Friday. People are kind of being punchy. It's I really Lucy like Goosey. it. Yeah. I really like it. Okay, um, Constance wants to know, Ben, did you find a spot to hang that painting of you that she gave you on Tuesday? That the artist that that surprised you with that beautiful painting of yourself, very lifelike. Yeah, Amy did such a good job. Um, I haven't found an official spot. It is it is in my office. Mm. It is kind of taking over two other pictures I had in my office. I took those down oh, and put the one. Wow. It's just now resting up against the wall. So it's not officially there yet. It hasn't found quite the home. Okay. So I'm going to let it just like kind of like let it breathe there for a while. Yeah, and it see needs if to I speak wanted... to you. 
Yeah, see where it, it really go. does. But so it's got a temporary home right now. But it definitely went home right away. Very cool. And if you yeah. missed that, head to, is it on your Instagram page, Ben, that you posted? It or is, Twin it is. On, yes, it was well. It was a post that I put on there. So it's it still, it's still there. It's a great painting. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is also for Ben, but Elizabeth, please chime in. Uh, <laughs> no worries, I'm Jill, fine. <laughs> Jill says, PB&J Dorito finger sandwiches are on my Super Bowl food list. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Changing lives. Be your side, like small little guys. Yeah. Okay. What other suggestions does Ben have for Super Bowl what? snacks? Wow. You're that asking That sandwich me? is tasty. Well, clearly, this you, is from Jill. This Jill is Bjorn. great. Jill is thinking that you're the authority. Yeah. This is impressive. Okay. Well, I mean, you have your classics. You have your nachos, your wingies, and then you have your like <laughs> little 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 smokies. Little smokies. Um, I would say I normally make my jambalaya. So oh. I just have my big pot of jambalaya, and you just kind of come by and take a few scoops, and that's it. You're going to make that on the show. I know. We need to I get that set days. that you're going to make that. Even if you wanted to make it in your kitchen, we'll go send a photographer over. Yeah. And I'll come over and taste it. How about you, though? You got any special finger foods or any special dishes? Well, I did uh, our former director, Dave Hammergren's yeah. buffalo chicken dip. I made that on Minnesota Live this week. So that recipe is um, up. It's posted on my blog, which is hometohomestead.com. And it is so good. It's so good. So that is like a classic. And then I'm not sure what else we're going to do. Yeah. We honestly have been like so in the moment that we haven't really discussed too much. Um, your our mutual friend Amanda Pa from Heartbeat Kitchen, her blog, she did this pickle dip. Mm -hmm. She actually posted it right before the holidays, and we ended up making it for so good. one of our Christmas celebrations. I can't remember which one. Jay made it. Jay found the recipe. He didn't even like realize I knew Amanda, and then he found the recipe, and I was like, "That's my friend," and then <laughs> made it, and it's so good. So if you love like a pickle, it's like a you know, it's like a cheesy pickle dip. Yeah. It's so it's good. Like cream cheese and pickles and cheese. It's yeah. Lovely stuff. It's all stuff. the good things. Yeah, that's a really good one to make, too. But then I like the classics as well. Yeah, the classics are good. I also like Play the hits, meatballs you guys. Play the and hits. a slow cooker. That's good stuff. I like those baked Hawaiian roll sandwiches. <laughs> that's a good idea. Those are well, This terrific. question was for Ben, but I we know. Got, we got a yes from the audience. <laughs> yes. That's for Mandy. Mandy loves those. Actually, Emily Dingman from Every, My Everyday Table, who's also a guest on Twin Cities Live, she just posted about some of those baked Hawaiian roll sandwiches, and she did a buffalo chicken version. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I know about that. Do so I know about those? Good. Yeah, when you when you put the Hawaiian yeah. rolls in, it's so you cut nice. them all as one. Oh, mm -hmm. that's right. Open, that's right. That's put right. Yes. fillings in, that's put right. the top, and okay. then brush some sort of flavored butter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking in my head. And then okay. bake so them. That's what good. it is. So easy, too. <sighs> Hot diggity like, dog. And then you cut them apart so good. Oh, but a person can eat like six. I mean, it's oh. ridiculous. It's like a sleeve of Oreos. Uh -huh. You just keep <laughs> eating them. Um, okay, you mentioned Amanda Pa. This yeah. is interesting. Holly wants to know, Elizabeth, what is your sourdough starter's name? So in the story that I ran this week, Elizabeth mentioned that her sourdough starter's name was Ida, Nida, Nida. Amanda's, my, yeah. My sourdough starter's name is Joan. Yeah. What's yours? I don't have a name. You got a name? You got to give it a name. Starter. I know. Is I it have, a she or a he? Mine's a she. Yeah, that's a good question. I have never named. Um, I've never named my sourdough starter. <laughs> Maybe I should name it the girl name that I never got to use because I kept yeah. having boys. Geraldine. That's perfect. Geraldine. Geraldine. That's oh my perfect. gosh. That, so my sourdough starter is the substitute for the daughter I never got to have. Oh <laughs> well, you can just take care of it and just swaddle it, and you get yeah. to feed it. I oh am pretty gosh. happy with all of my children, by the way. But I did, I love the name Geraldine, and I really wanted to use that. I had a grandpa, Jerry, who passed away before I was uh, born. But his name was Gerald and Jerry, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be such a sweet name to name a little girl Geraldine. If anybody has a little Geraldine, I will be her godmother, and I will send <laughs> gifts. <laughs> But you can nickname your starter Jerry, yeah. too. I mean, like, yep. how's Jerry There's looking so today? There's so many Gigi, ways I you can play off of Jer, Jer, Jer yeah. Bear. Jer Bear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Deaner. that was fun. Deaner? Uh, That's not. Deany? I don't think, I think you're taking this too far. I like it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, ben. <laughs> yes. Pam says, Ben, you said you hate fast food fish sandwiches. Oh. Have you tried Arby's? Oh. The the place that's like famous for roast we have beef? the we have the meats <laughs> and the roast beef, they do roast beef really well. I'm I've not never trying had the their fish. fish. Not gonna try the fish. <laughs> nope. All right. Not gonna try. I do it. like a good fillet of fish. Good. It's yeah. a good one. I, I believe you. They have a good, good fish sandwich. Good luck with that. All right. You you keep eating that and see what happens. Culvers, I would be. I'm always ready for Culvers. Yeah, that sounds very good.
I love Culver's. Listen, if a butter burger showed up right now, <laughs> dominate. They have I great just... cheese curds. I met great the man. Cheese curds, yeah. I met the man who created the batter for those cheese curds. It's so good. Their custard and is Osceola. so good. Okay. Osceola. Yeah. That's where I got married. Oh. Okay. Remember, you were there. <laughs> <laughs> There. You were there. I was there. It was a lovely wedding. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. I'm scrolling. I know you're busy. Scrolling. You have a lot to do. Um, we demand your attention. I'm Kelly. sorry. I know. I'm like trying to. I'm trying to just find the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another Ben one. I'm sorry. Just it just caught my it eye. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay. Joanna wants to know Ben. What happened to carpool dance party Fridays oh, with Wells. with your boys? Yeah. Remind everybody what you did. Okay, so dance on every bit. Friday when I took the boys to school, we just did like a little Friday dance party on the way in the car line. Now, I do have to say this because a lot of you do reach out and say like, why aren't they putting their seat belts and you're being an unsafe dad. And oh, jeez. Like, uh, you, know, you know how people can get. Um, so we are in the car line. We are literally going either two miles an hour <laughs> or, or we're stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we would do these little dance parties. I'd turn on some music. I'd blast it. And we'd just dance on the way to school. I thought it was a good way to start their Friday and start their weekend with a little fun. dance party on People the last day of the week. Love. We just had a guest in the other day who was saying how much she loved yeah. it. Shay Sandifer. She was like, that's oh right. my gosh, I love that's, that. That's right. Well, um, so my 12-year-old, my 7th grade boy, he now is not wanting to do it. Too cool for school. He's too cool. He's like, Dad, they, all the kids talk about it at school now, and they yeah. ask me about it, and I get embarrassed, and yeah. I don't want to do it. Yeah, and I get it. And my nine-year-old, who, you know, he would take his clothes off with the snap of a finger. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> he's like, I want still want to do it. I'm like, yeah, but your brother doesn't want to do it. Uh, so for the sake of not embarrassing him, we have stopped. We've taken a pause. Maybe we've he'll get back into it. I did talk to them about it a couple weeks ago, and I said, do you guys want to do, like, one just, like, one every quarter? And he was like, uh, What if you could get a corporate sponsor and you could bribe Wit with money? <laughs> <laughs> well, I even tried to bribe him, like, Will you pick the song? Oh. Because he's really into music. But all the music he listens to is not appropriate. Yeah, I get it. I get it. These can't kids. Do it. Okay. Yeah. Good um, answer. Apparently, there's something going on. Can you guys hear me? Can you yeah. hear me? Okay. Hear they're, they're saying the mic isn't working. I'm thinking it's like maybe through the, through the Facebook situation. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But I'm here and. If, if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. Just but. read the lips, okay. Yeah, read, read yeah. my lips. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Elizabeth, yeah. Karen wants to know, will you be expanding your garden this year and what is oh. one thing that you would love to grow? Oh my gosh, um, I don't think I'm gonna expand the garden. I think we're pretty good. I have four raised beds, so I added a couple extra ones last year. And, but I really want to do this very cool thing that I have seen posted on social media. So I've been, every time I'm out on a walk, I'm looking for very long sticks. Okay, so I'm looking <laughs> for long sticks. And then I'm thinking, how can I get these sticks home? So what I want to do oh, I see is take these sticks and make like a teepee kind of a yeah. situation and then grow peas up them so that it becomes is like Is that what this peas do? Oh yeah, they're viney. Peas are viney? Yeah, oh, it's wonderful. They're like the best. And then I'm gonna have them grow, 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 and then I can plant, plant other kinds of like long beans. And then it would make like this little hut for the mm. kids could go inside and they could like hang out in there, oh, but then it'd be all green the peas? and growing up. And then we could pick them, yeah. yeah. So wait a minute. Right how, off the vine. How, yeah, how big it. you thinking here? What's Like what's uh, the... six feet, and I need some big sticks. Oh, okay. So oh, I've been wow. looking. Every time I walk along the river, I'm like, like, could I carry one of these home? Like, how could I do this? I think I can figure it out. And we do have some, we have like some leftover pieces of trim, you know, mm -hmm. that are just random in the garage. So I thought I could start it with that and like sure, tie it together sure. and then build this whole thing. It's like a little earthen hut for the it's kids. Exactly. Doesn't that but sound fun? But with beans. But with beans. Karen didn't even know that. Like, you were really thinking about adding something new. That was a great question. Karen, thank you. Thanks to all of you so much. Kelly, especially to you. Thank you. You are a treasure. And you know what? Don't you forget it. Kelly, I see you and I hear you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. I want you to know that. We love thank you. you. I see okay. you too. All right. And I hear you. It's a loopy Friday. <laughs> all right. What thanks. should we, what else should we do on the show? Oh my gosh. How about we poke some beer? Oh! Let's do that. You guys ever poked a beer? No? We're going to try it. You guys maybe can try it for yourself when you guys watch our next segment. Don't go anywhere.